So in this video, we're gonna talk about local max values and local minimum values, okay? Maxima is just plural of maximum, and minima is the plural of minimum. So don't concern yourselves with these two terms. It just means plural uh, to singular, okay? So a local maximum value occurs when a function goes from increasing to decreasing. All right, now you can read over all this definition, but basically that's what happens. So a maximum value is going to happen at a peak. So this point right here in red is going to be considered a local maximum value because the function was increasing leading up to that point and it's decreasing after that point. All right, local minimum values occur when a function goes from decreasing to the left of it to increasing just to the right of it. So you can see this point in red is gonna be considered a local minimum value. The function goes from decreasing to the left of that point to increasing immediately after that. Okay, so that's a local max and a local min value. Right now, this is not to be confused with what we call absolute maximum values or absolute minimum values. If you think about a, a quadratic graph, for example, if you think about a parabola that opens up so if a parabola opens up, there's an absolute minimum down here at the vertex, okay? Um, so this is just local, not absolute. Uh, we'll go over absolute max and min values later, okay? So local max values when a graph goes from increasing to decreasing. Local minimum values when a graph goes from decreasing to increasing, okay? So obviously, if we're using the terms increasing and decreasing again, uh, we need to understand the intervals over which this is happening. All right, so this function is increasing here from negative infinity to uh, negative 5. All right, it's decreasing over this interval. We'll go over that in a second. Then it goes back to increasing here. X is negative 2 here, and it increases till X is 1. So the next interval is from negative 2 to 1. And then the last, okay, we're decreasing here. Then the last increasing interval is here from positive 4 to infinity. Okay, so there's three different intervals over which this function is increasing. It's decreasing in the other two intervals, okay, from negative 5 to negative 2, we're decreasing, and then from positive 1 to positive 4, we're also decreasing, okay? So we've taken care of all the possible intervals from negative infinity to positive infinity uh, with these values here, okay? All right, so maximum values, like we said, this is the maximum value. Now, the maximum value is going to be the y-coordinate at that location. All right, so the local maximum value here occurs at positive 2. So the first max, as we're going from left to right, the local max is 2 when x is negative 5. All right, this maximum value, notice again, the function is increasing, increasing, increasing until we get to that point, then it immediately starts decreasing. So this maximum value is at positive 5. Y is 5 there. So local max is 5 when x equals 1. All right. Maximum values can be positive or negative. They can be 0. If that's where the maximum value occurs, that's where it occurs. Okay. Don't think maximum values have to be positive. Uh, just because both of these were, all right? Minimum values, we've got two of those. There's a, a minimum value here and here, local min values. So uh, the y-coordinate at this location is negative 1. So there's a local min at negative 1 when x is equal to negative 2. And then you can see here this minimum value is negative 3 uh, when x equals positive 4, all right? So that's how you determine local max and min values uh, within a function. Now, pause the video here. I want you to go down here and try number two and then come back and check your work. Okay. All right, quickly, um, answer A here. We're going to go through A and B pretty quickly. So this function is only increasing over two intervals from this point to this point, all right, which is from negative four to negative one and from this point to that point, which is from one to positive four. There are three intervals over which this function is decreasing, okay, from negative infinity to negative 4, okay, here from negative 1 to positive 1, and then here from 4, and that keeps going forever to negative, excuse me, positive infinity, okay? Again, the, the focus here is on the max and min value. So 
Um, let's start with maximum values. We've got a maximum value here at 1. And that happens, or that occurs, when x is equal to negative 1. And then we've got a maximum value up here at 7, when x is equal to positive 4. All right? Uh, minimum values, first one here, that occurs, so it looks like negative 6 on the graph, uh, when x is equal to negative 4. And then this minimum value here is negative 2, when x equals 1. Okay? Um, so that's how you determine... Uh, local max values and local min values. Uh, make sure you understand the, the topics increasing and decreasing. Uh, you have to know what those mean in order to understand maximum and minimum values. All right. There's a video right before this if you need a refresher um, to help you out with that.